Hey folks, welcome to the Car DIY channel. Today we are upgrading the inverter in our trailer to a lithium capable inverter. Now I know this is the Car DIY channel, but this thing's got wheels, so I've decided it counts. Now over on our main channel, we upgraded our 12 volt lead acid battery to this massive lithium battery. And that means we got to take a look at our inverter. And in most travel trailers, this is where your inverter is going to live. Now, before you start upgrading this, if you're going to lithium, make sure that your inverter isn't one that can handle lithium. Some auto detect lithium and some have a little button in it you can press, and then you're up for charging lithium. The difference between a lead acid charger and a lithium charger is really the voltage. Lithium charges up to a higher voltage than lead acid, so if you're using a lead acid inverter, it will still work, but it won't charge your battery completely to full. So what we did is we reached out to WFCO, confirmed that our inverter was not capable of charging a lithium battery to full, and then they gave me the part number for the exact replacement. Now I will have a link for this thing down below, but what you wanna do is make sure that you're getting the correct one for your setup. Before you start monkeying with your electrical, make sure your trailer is unplugged from shore power and make sure your battery cutoff is turned off. Now just to be safe, I like to, now just to, be safe, I like to go to one of my 12 volt receptacles, make sure I have no 12 volt running to the trailer, and now that we know we're safe, we can get to work. I'm gonna start by removing the outer panel. Which will then expose all of our wiring. In these style inverters, it's actually really easy to remove them. It's usually two screws right down here at the bottom. then the entire inverter will slide out. And from this point, all we're doing is just unhooking the old wires and hooking the new wires in place. I'm going to start here by coming in and removing this panel. And this panel usually just kind of clicks in place. There's a little tab down here we can push down. And this entire panel will pull right out. And now we can see here where, so now with the panel out, we can see where our two 12 volt lines, these are the ones that are actually gonna feed the battery come in. So we can take these off. And with these, these should be cranked down really tight. So be careful, because you could also strip out your screws if you're not careful. So now with those out of the way, we can bring in our new inverter feed the wires the same way they came in on the old one, and then torque these back down. Same thing applies here. You wanna make sure you really crank these down hard. You wanna make sure you got a good connection and it's not loose. Loose connections can cause all sorts of bad things, including heat and fires, so you don't want that to happen. So now with those lines hooked back up, we can weave our wires back in place and tuck this whole thing back into where it goes. So now that we've finished our 12 volt side, let's work on our 110 side. And this is just as simple. All we're gonna do is unscrew one wire at a time and replace it one wire at a time. We'll start with this one right up here. And with all the old wires removed and the new wires hooked up, you're done. This is actually a really simple, easy upgrade to your trailer. So now we just slide the inverter back in place, secure it with the screws, and that's all there is to it. You just upgraded your old lead acid charger to a new charger. And the new charger I got here can do lead acid or lithium, so that way if I ever decide to switch back for some reason, I'm covered. All we gotta do now is put the cover plates back on and we're good to go. So we've got everything buttoned back up. I'm ready to start charging my lithium battery. So if you wanna check out the video on how we installed the lithium battery or how we're doing an entire solar inverter setup on this trailer, go down below and check out the links to my main channel where I have all of those videos. Now, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions, leave me questions down in the comments. I'm happy to answer those questions. Hit that subscribe button. We got all sorts of trailer and car stuff on this channel coming your way. And of course, Thanks for watching.